when we do a Google image search for images, we can limit it using tools to meet certain criteria. So I put, I want them to only be large images, which is a thousand pixels or bigger in one dimension. I want them to be black and white images, so no color. I want them to be line drawing images, and I want them to be have some form of Creative Commons license. But saying that something's Creative Commons does not mean that it's just free to use, because there are a large, large number of options for Creative Commons. And none of them are full public domain. From, so from these, I will see images that look good and they want to be used, but you'll notice it might be hard to see on your screen, but there's a faint watermark on this because this is a stock company which makes its money by selling usage of images. And it says it's a free stock image, but in order to get it for free and to download it, <clears throat> I might need to start an account and all of that kind of stuff. So that's kind of a pain. So that's a downside of Google. I found this one. This is from a site called pixie.org, which is a lot like Pixabay. And it's a free download, it looks good if you trust it. You know, I can download it and I am. And I can see that it's pretty good quality. But I might not like the way this is rendered. This looks like it was was auto traced in Illustrator from from an older illustration and maybe I just don't like the quality of it. This one I like quite a bit. This comes from Pixabay, but it comes from a, it's, it's in a different country. It looks like it's Arabic. And so it can be hard to, to read it all. So I might translate it to English or it's in Thai. Interesting. This Thai script looks like Hebrew or Arabic to me. And so we can download it. And so you can use any, any search site that you trust and that you think is good, but I'm going to recommend one to you instead of just doing Google, which is you're gonna spend a lot of time finding things that don't work, unfortunately. So under the exercise, I give you the example of Pixabay. <laughs> I don't know why it's in time. I guess because I just used it in time. So Pixabay is something I have an account with, and you do not need to have an account with it to use it, but you do need to start an account to be able to download the largest resolution options. And all you need for an account is an email, and I've used it for, for many years now, and I've never gotten emails that were inappropriate or that asked for anything. And you can always, I think I have um, marked them as spam emails anyway so you can choose but if you do join it then you're actually able to upload images which is great so you can be a contributor and you can download at the highest resolution but what's great about pixabay is it's just it has over 1.9 million high resolution images that are uploaded by the users right and then they are curated by the users. So not everything that I would choose to upload would get accepted. It has to be high enough quality. The tags on it have to make sense. So if I look for police hat, it will give me a lot of options, even from some other sites, because this person posted both to, to Pixa and to Pixabay. And it'll give me many pages, but again, a lot of them are photos. They might not be what I'm looking for. So how can I limit it? I like this one quite a bit. So I'm going to right click on the ones I'm interested in and open them in a new tab. This is my preferred way of doing it. Some of them are too simplistic, but then just like Google, I have some search options, right? I can only look for illustrations instead of photographs. I can look only for black and white.
Whoops, let's go back. And so it limits it to the ones I'm most likely to use, right? Police hat's a little obscure. So as you're searching for things, like I might look for police baton. And so I'll open that in a new tab. So if you don't like doing screen grabs from AutoDraw or like for me, AutoDraw is not working for you, I recommend Pixabay and then just downloading the largest PNG option you have. We don't want the SVG because that's a vector. And we don't necessarily need to deal with those right now. It wouldn't be bad. I just don't want you to get confused by the file formats. Like I am confused by why everything is in Thai. This is, has not happened before. <laughs> but somehow my language setting got fooled. Okay. Hopefully it will remember this. So what's great about the general Pixabay license is that it's a Creative Commons open license, which means it's free for commercial use and no attribution is required. So that's different than the Creative Commons 4 license, which requires attribution, right? So I can use this image for anything. I can change it for any reason. I can transform it, make it my own, and I don't need to pay for it. And even if I sell it, and I don't need to give credit to anyone for it. That's the Pixabay license. And anyone who uploads to it agrees to that. So they're really just donating their art for anyone to do anything they want with. Now, if I want to, I can pay ArtCB, who's put up a whole lot of free images, almost 4,000 of them. I can give them a coffee. That's what they call and I can donate to their, to their PayPal. And it's nice, all, all around the world, every month, some people donate some money to me just from the images that I've, I've given away for free, but that is not an expectation. And then often when they, they've donated to me and I get that little email, they also leave a message, I used it for this, and I can link and see the book cover they used my image for, which is kind of nice. But I don't put, all of my artwork up here. I've only put something like 20 images up because that's not how I make a living, right? You can't make a living by giving things away for free, but it's nice every once in a while to contribute to these resources that we use. And that's one thing I love about digital art and the design marketplace. There are a lot of resources that people share from the digital art world. All right, so when I'm downloading, where are they actually going? Well, they go to my downloads folder. So I've got two so far. I wanna make sure to download this one. That's got an even bigger PNG option. You always want the highest resolution possible, even if we're just gonna do it for screen display. What are some of the other things I want? Um, I'll call it a power fist. Notice I'm using the, the filters of illustrations, black and white. I don't need to worry about size in Pixabay because everything that's on here is going to have an option for being large enough. I like the look of this one. What else? See a bullhorn, that's a pretty important one. So you want at least five different images. Oh, but I don't want vector graphics, I want illustrations. And I want color to be black and white. And these bullhorns you'll notice are more solid, right? There's no kind of just clean line art for bullhorn. So I'll take kind of my favorite of them, which is probably this one. But maybe I will go to Google image search and see if I can get one that maybe isn't 
because this is just for educational purposes, protected under fair, fair use, I can find something that, that is copyrighted. So I won't care about usage rights, but I want large and I want black and white and I want line art under type. And then the trick is finding one without watermarks, but with enough knowledge of raster imaging, you can always get rid of watermarks without too much difficulty. Is there a good one? Let's see. Google image search used to be amazing, but it's become more and more of a commercial tool. And that's not to denigrate Google. It's just companies have really learned how to, to capitalize on it. So this one's nice. So in Google image search, you can't just trust this, unfortunately. I recommend you open the image in a new tab because sometimes their tags are wrong and then view it at full size. So this one's pretty good, but notice how it has, it's from a stock company, you know, that's selling it. So it has watermarks all over it but I'll show you how I can use this. Because they're just pixels. We're just using other people's pixels. Ideally ones that have Creative Commons open, but if not, you'll know the dangers of it. Actually, I like that one quite a bit. Because I can cut out a lot of it except for the bullhorn. So even though you were required to have at least five, you might have more than that, right, to choose from. Or you might decide to even layer more than that. So I check the quality at full size, and then I know what I'm using. And then the last one was fire. Under illustrations, under black and white. Kind of like this one. So what you could do is kind of look for all similar types of line art. That's what Arturo Herrera does, like all Disney line art. Or you can mix and match, you know, really simplistic line art with really, really representational, with stylized. I kind of like this woodblock print fire, though I don't want the logs. This one's kind of great. It's like liberty for all. That's a theme of the hate you give. Equal opportunity. The torch, that's nice. So what I love about image searches online is you don't always, you know what you're looking for, but you're going to get inspired by surprises every once in a while. And that can really impact what you end up using and what you might end up creating. Like, I love the look of that. That's great. And all of this will inform our own taste and what we decide to, to make for our own projects when we get into assignments, right? But for this exercise, we're just playing around mostly with other people's pixels, unless you want to draw something in auto-draw. Okay, so what I've done is used Google Images and Pixabay. I guess I need a syringe still just to cover my bases. Again, we learn through repetition. So I just go through the same steps to find imagery that I think will be useful. There's one of one page of them. So these are the options on Pixabay. And I guess I'll just use the most open and generic.